Hey guys, Levi from The Rag Company. In today's video, oh, this is the dirtiest truck we have ever had at The Rag Company studio. Covered in bugs, covered in filth, covered in drool, covered in dog hair, covered in, I don't know what that is, but it needed to be cleaned. And so we decided to take it upon ourselves and clean it. Now, because it was so filthy, because it was so muddy, because it was so dirty and dusty, we decided to wash it in the outdoor wash bay for its first wash. So as you can see, I made sure we foamed everything with a nice layer of forced to help break down any of the dirt and grime and grease. Then we pressure washed it. Then I decided to foam cannon it with reactive soap. This is a low pH acid wash, so to speak. So we're wearing gloves because we don't wanna hurt ourselves and we wanna stay safe. So we used uh, reactive soap also in the bucket. So we foamed it, we scrubbed it, and then we rinsed it off. Ta-da, let's pull it in and wash it again. Now that we got all the mud and dirt and grime, we pulled it into the wash bay inside the studio for another wash. That's right. This time, we are gonna neutralize a lot of the acidity on the paint. So here I'm spraying Power Clean on the engine bay to get more of the grime that was left over that we missed. And then I am spraying Power Clean and Forced on the exterior of the vehicle as well as the door jams. And I'm using Undressed on the tires. And we're making that chalky milk that everybody loves to have. Don't drink it. Now, the goal of this is to reset the pH of the paint surface. Now, once we start rinsing and washing, we're able to kind of shock the paint and get a lot of that grime that maybe didn't come off with the acid wash, it's able to come off with the high pH wash. Now I am getting in the jams with the pressure washer. I've been doing this for 27 years, washing door jams. And on vehicles like this, where I'm gonna deep clean the interior, it's okay to do that. If you're not experienced with a pressure washer gun, I'd recommend maybe just using a steamer, maybe using a towel and maybe some cleaner to get in those jams. But for this vehicle, I was able to get in there, get it all cleaned up. Now, once the vehicle was done being washed, it's time to tackle the interior. So what'd we do? We pulled it outside because I don't want that stuff in our shop. That's a lot of gross stuff. We decided to bag all of those personal belongings, all the change, everything, and we also got consent by the vehicle's owner to pull those seats. This allowed us to really, truly get into the deepest, darkest parts of this vehicle and make sure that we were able to clean it the best we can because, oh man, this thing was filthy but it's a construction worker's truck. They use it every day on site. They carry a bunch of folks around, they carry their dogs around, they carry tools and equipment, everything in the vehicle. So of course it's gonna get filthy. So it needed that deep clean. Now, once we got everything out of the vehicle, we made sure we uh, locked and loaded with our Ultra Air Blaster to get in there and get a lot of the majority of the dog hair, the dirt, the grime, everything out of the vehicle. Uh, this made it much easier to vacuum up everything that was left over. And not only were we able to use the for real, but we were able to use the whole suite of Detail Factory pet hair brushes. After that, Anthony busted out the PNS Trifecta, the carpet system based on Terminator, carpet bomber, and finisher. He paired it with a drill brush to get a good deep scrub in those carpets and get it cleaned up, followed by some steam to release the rest of it. And then we hit it with a towel and dried everything up. Now on the door panels and the plastics, this was a different combination. We had some really, really ingrained dirt and grime in some spots, but other spots we just had some light dirt. So we used a combination of express and cockpit for this job. Express was able to tackle light things, kind of like the door panels and, and pockets and things like that. And this pocket's really gross. There was still a lot of dog hair that didn't get vacuumed up. Gross. That towel's dead. 
But on other spots, we had to go a little deeper and a little harder with it. So that's where Cockpit came in. Shout out to Kyle Clark. Gabe decided to hook up a detail factory brush and throw it right in the drill. Get a little speedy cleaning going on. Cockpit was designed to be able to be used in heavy soilage situations such as this. Now on the dash and the dashboard and things like that, we want to make sure that we get everything cleaned. You can see Anthony creating a good lather on the surface. We're getting that surface cleaned and getting all the dirt out of those spots. The one thing, if you're going this hard in the paint, is you want to make sure that you're going to stay away, as you can see, uh, as much as we can without hitting it with air on the gauges and the stereo controls. The reason for this is we don't want to damage anything. So we're making sure we're not using air or steam around those areas, but we are getting in the vents. We are getting around the buttons and knobs and things like that. But we're trying to make sure that we're keeping it as clean as possible and making sure we're not damaging anything. And here, the beautiful before and after. Woo, look at that baby shine. Now this truck definitely deserved a spa day. It leads a hard working man's life every day and it needed a little TLC. Now we also asked the customer to replace the headlights and taillights. We recommended it. We said, hey, this is really gonna help because we tried to polish out the headlights. We tried to do a restoration. They were too far gone and both back taillights were cracked. So we said, hey, spend a little money, a couple hundred bucks, get some new headlights, get some new taillights, put them in, and this will really change the look of the truck and it'll bring it up and make it feel like you're driving a brand new truck again. And that's exactly what they did. Now on the outside, we just polished the vehicle and gave it a quick one-step polish with some Uno Advanced. This allowed us to buff out a little bit of the light scratches that were on it, but it wasn't that bad and didn't deserve or need a full paint correction. But it now has some protection to last when it's on those job sites. All right, guys, so there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, disaster detail. Let me tell you, it was a disaster. This is by far one of the dirtiest cars I have ever done in 27 years. As always, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos right here at the Rag Company YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.